I'm straight up over your head. It's not an acceptable answer. You're on them. No, You're on them. No. Cape May welcomes you to Coast Guard Boot Camp. Not exactly a vacation at the beach. Perched on a peninsula just east of the Lobster House restaurant and fleet of commercial fishing boats on the harbor stands Training Center Cape May. This is where young men and women are transformed into Coast Guardsmen. Come about for the right! Every enlisted recruit to this branch of the military from across the United States experience an intense eight-week basic training. In other words, you're not in the Coast Guard until you've passed through Cape May. Recruit Dockenbaugh, Upper Sandusky, Ohio. Recruit Olson, Zephyr Hills, Florida. Recruit Chatfield, Healy, Alaska. Seaman Recruit Wilford, Fredericksburg, Virginia. Seaman Recruit Mantilla, Mobile, Alabama. Our core duties are search and rescue, law enforcement, and national defense, but we do a lot of other things, so aids to navigation, environmental protection. We actually have 11 different statutory missions that we perform. Recruits are in their second day of the program. Much of the instruction happens in the classroom, but there's also practical training, hands-on experiences, including the firefighter school. Here, they're preparing to experience and fight a simulated fire. Fire, 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 put your boots on. Sense of urgency, imagine your cutter's on fire. It's not a real fire, there's no heat involved, but we try to replicate the environment as best we possibly can using smoke machines and other things that would disorient somebody normally in those types of scenarios. From fire to water. Second week recruits are required to swim 100 meters in front crawl, breast stroke, or side stroke, and be able to tread water for five minutes to pass this part of the training. Some won't make it. In fact, one in five that come to Cape May will not graduate. Sometimes we send people home because they don't meet our standards either for physical fitness or for um, a knowledge or skills-based issue. Uh, and occasionally folks uh, ask to disenroll. They're, they're overawed by the job and the responsibility of it, and it's more than they expected. Responsibility and discipline. And that carries into every aspect of this program, from marching, how they stow their packs, and the precision in the way they enter the mess hall. But you might think that chow time would be a break for the recruits. It's not. Coming out of the galley is one of the most intense parts of recruit training. It's where they put the most pressure on you and they scream at you the most in the times you you would feel comfort. Of course, like any branch of the military, the Coast Guard puts immense pressure on these young people. This is in the form of physical exertion and largely mental challenges. The idea is to prepare them for high pressure, real world situations that may determine life or death. It may seem cruel, but company commanders insist it's for a good reason. It just gets them geared up mentally under stress. If they can't operate under stressful conditions, they're not gonna serve the purpose that needs to be served out in the fleet. Um, we never get calls on good days. We don't get calls in good weather. Uh, and I tell you what, if, if there's anyone that should be able to get underway and drive that ship up the ticks behind in a hailstorm backwards, like the Coast Guard should have that. When you get here, they kind of break your confidence down, show your vulnerabilities, but then they bring it back up. And, you know, in general, it is not, I mean, it's not a wonderful time while you're here. It's not supposed to be, but I can already feel myself, I guess, becoming better and like growing as a person. Big picture is, is if, if you can operate as a team, like you're never gonna be alone out in the fleet. So as long as you can operate as a team under a stressful condition, you, you'll be just fine.